Hello student, I am your deputy ma'am. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic, climate and adaptation in polar region. So let's start our discussion with the term adaptation. So adaptation is a process of adjustment of the living organism with the changing environment. Now all of you know with time our nature, our environment is gradually changing. And if we want to survive in this changing environment, then we have to cope up with it. And there are several strategies through which we can cope up with the changing environment. It may be physical, may be biological, may be behavioral. But the main aim of this adjustment is actually the increase of survivability. The fitness of each and every organism can be increased by this adjustment and that is the adaptation. That adjustment process is the adaptation and it's very important for each and every living organism for their own survival. And today in this class we will and uh, just want to know the creating power of the nature in the polar region. So start it with the climatic condition in the polar region. So all of you know there are two poles. One is North Pole and another is the South Pole. And the North Pole actually surrounds the Russia, Siberia, Canada, Alaska and Greenland and South Pole surrounds the Antarctica and it shows a very extreme climatic condition in which the temperature can be minus 40 degrees centigrade and all over the year the whole area is covered with thick snow and only six months it gets the sunlight. So, in this uh, extreme climatic condition where survival is uh, zero if we think but still there are several beautiful creatures that can be found and that is the creation of nature. So, there are several creatures there are polar bear, penguin, there are several fishes, reindeer, arctic tern, sperm whale and Siberian crane, there are seals. So all over this polar region, different types of mammals, birds, fishes can be found. So in as per our syllabus, we will discuss about the polar bear, penguin and some migratory organisms. So let's start our discussion with polar bear. So polar bear are restricted into the northern pole. That means in Russia, Alaska, in a large amount in Canada, Greenland. So these are the distributions of the polar bear. So in this extreme condition the polar bear survive with some special features and that are the adaptive features. So first of all they have padded feet with short claws and these padded feet help them to move on the ice and sharp claws help them to capture their food material and also the ice so that they can work easily and the next one their white fur and these white fur actually help them to hide themselves into the whitish background and this strategy is the camouflage. Next one, 
they have very strong sense of smell and this feature help them to detect the prey and also the predator of themselves and next one they have thick layer of fur and under the skin there is a insulating layer of fat and these two layers actually keep their body warm in this very cold condition so if we want to gist the adaptive features of the polar bear then we can make this flow chart so go through it in which each and every uh, detail of the adaptive features are discussed and we also discuss in the previous slide so another important feature of the polar bear is their food capturing strategy and they are very good swimmer because of their padded broad feet and they are very good hunter because they have sharp claw sharp teeth and very strong sense of smell and this is all about the adaptive strategy of the polar bear so in this link uh, we can get a detailed view of the adaptive features of the polar bear so have a glance through this link
So, we can see that uh, due to our anthropogenic activities, this such a very beautiful creature of the nature get endangered and uh, with time it may be extinct from the wild. So, we should very careful and eco-friendly for this very beautiful and excellent creature of the nature. So now move on the next creature that is the penguin. So penguin is uh, distributed into the southern pole, especially into the Antarctica. And like the polar bear, the penguin also develops some special adaptive features to cope up with this extreme condition. The first one is the padded feet with claws. Now, similar with the polar bear, it's also helped them to move on the ice and help them to capture their prey. Next beautiful uh, feature is that they have a sharp beak with a tongue which has backwardly directed barbs. Now see here there are many tooth like structure and these are the barbs and these structure actually help them to adhere with the food material or to capture the food material or prey firmly so that they can get it easily. Now the next feature is the presence of flipper and this flipper is the modified wings and flipper helps them to swim and next feature is the uh, they have a very densely packed feather which keep their body warm. Next one they have thick layer of fat under the skin which also keep their body warm and a very short blunt tail which help to keep their body balance during swimming and also walking. And apart from this penguin is also a very good swimmer for their streamlined body webbed feet and short tail and the flipper. So these are the adaptive features of penguin and this is the gist of the adaptation or adaptive feature of the penguin. So go through it and next one next strategy of the adaptation of some polar uh, creatures is the migration. So migration is a pattern of movement in which the whole population of the living organism move from one place to another place. It may be temporal, it may be permanent and the main aim to collect their food for shelter and for their reproduction and also to avoid a very extreme condition and this type of migration is very common in the birds like Siberian crane arctic tern and apart from the birds there are many fishes insects mammals that also show the migration so Siberian crane is a very good example so have a look of the Siberian crane. It's a type of birds and we can identify it by its size. And also it has a red colored mask in the head just behind the beak and two side of the head. And also their eye is uh, yellowish 
and their legs are uh, pinkish and they have a very large wing with a efficient strong flight muscle so by these uh, features we can identify the siberian crane easily and if we talk about the migratory strategy then we can see that the native place is the siberia and during winter to avoid very cold extreme condition and also uh, for their reproduction they actually migrate the whole population of the siberian crane moves from siberia to the southeast asia that means china india pakistan afghanistan these all these places and in india varudpur bath sanctuary in rajasthan is a famous for the migratory siberian crane and for this they have to travel a very long distance by crossing the himalayan range so it's very difficult and very interesting for them to cover this such a uh, long distance and they are very equipped with this because they have a very efficient long wing so in this way in the polar region uh, the creatures are survive in this extreme condition and it's the beauty of nature so thank you